Hi, my name is Virgil and welcome on Mitui. In this video, I'd like to show you how to install GOGS. GOGS is an open source service that you can install on your VPS to be able to have a, your own Git server, so a place where you can store your code and exchange code with other people. All right, let's do it. So I'll put all the code that I'm typing into a file, which is linked below, and you can click on it, you can open it, and you can do everything that I do at the same time as I do it. I'll just add explanation on top of it. So first thing, I'm gonna connect to my VPS. All right, so I'll run my key, Mitui, that's my password, and I'll connect to my VPS, that's my IP address. I'll run putty and I connect as my user putty. Now I move to root to have access and to be able to install everything with sudo su. Once connected, I'm gonna update the list of packages on my system and upgrade them if needed. Then I already have Apache installed, I already have a few services installed, and if I go now in my browser and I go to git.wemitwe.com, it redirects me to git. So I already have in my folder var vvv a git repository with inside an index page git that shows in my browser there. And I also have in my virtual host for Apache, a virtual host for this, which is called Git on port 80, which goes into my folder var vvv git. I also have other services. If you're interested to see how to install Nextcloud and WooCommerce or other, you can look at my past videos. Okay, you need to install Git. Um, I don't know if it's already installed on my system, no. So, installation of Git. Once Git is installed, you can download the latest binary of Gox from this URL. So, from there you can find the latest uh, tar file for my Linux, which is this one, AMD64 Linux. So I'll copy, uh, save, I'll copy link address and I'll go into, into my git gear tree with cd and the pass to my git directory and I'll do a vget to download this, click right to past it, this file. So this file is compressed, so I need to uncompress it with tar, it's a tar file, gox, like this, so tar xdevf my file, and it should have put it here. So now everything is in this gox repository, so I'll, I'll copy the gox recursively backwards. Okay, so when you're in your GOX repository, you can run GOX web, which will run the GOX service, and this service will listen on the port 33 on your local host. Okay, so now the service is running on port 333, and if I go on my brother, it won't show me anything different than the index file, because that's what Apache is reading. So I will run a second instance of my VPS and I will change the virtual host Apache zip enabled and there I have my git conf and I will ask him to do a not the document root that doesn't matter what I want is a reverse proxy on my port 333. So it means that my request when I like here connect when you connect to git.wemitwe.com first it goes to Apache on port 80. There is a server name. 
And then, because there is a river proxy, the traffic will be redirected to the port 333. And on the port 333, I have my service, which is running right now. So let's try. Oh, I didn't run this in sudo, so I have to pass also into this instance in sudo. How I did my file and put in the reverse proxy section. And I can remove the root directory. I only need the server name. Save and exit and restart Apache. So I need to first enable modes for Apache to be able to handle the reverse proxy and then it should work. Yes, so no, I don't have error anymore. If I look into my gox, my git conf, this is how it does. And if I go on my web page, I have an error, but it goes to my gox there. Because I get something that is connected. Now I probably need to change this to not be on 00 but on localhost, which is this IP address. For this, I need to change the custom. So I'll create a directory custom and I'll create in custom a directory conf and in this conf directory I'll open a file called app ini so I'll put insert and pass this in it to say that I want this service to run on this IP address then I'll go back into gox and I'll run again the web the gox web commands and now you can see that the IP address changed and is now on port, so it's the same port but different IP address. So in this file you can also change the port and you can um, also change some configuration to be able to not have other people create repository or to enable a captcha for login for example. Alright, so now if I go on git meetweed.com Still not. Okay, I'll check into my conf. If that's the same, seems to be the same. Ah, maybe I'm missing a slash at the end. Let's see if that did the trick. Yes, missing a slash at the end in my virtual host. All right, so now it opens me um, a nice GUI to be able to install my GOG servers. Uh, yeah, that's the information from the database. So before to install, you need to create a database with the same as I did for WordPress and what I did for next cloud so let's create a database i log into mysql i don't have a password i'll create a database called cox and then i'll create a user for my gox database so gox user me tweet password me tweet same as usual make it simple but don't do what I do. Choose a smart password. And then I'll flush the privilege. All right. Now if I connect on my service, I will put in here Mitui. 
me tweet so I put the database information and I put myself as root because that's how I run the service here as root it needs to be with the same user and then I push on install gogs and it will install me gogs or not yes so it, it did something but it didn't do it right because it's now looking on localhost and not on my URL so if I go on git.wimitui.com this is not what I get seems to be working and it's still not secure and from there I can register myself as a new user and push repositories and all that all right so now I will set the HTTPS for that I'll run Cerebot dot stripe stripe Apache on git number five no error so it should just be working like that let's see yes no it's a secure connection okay so now it's all installed and secure I will now create a new user called Mitui with email Mitui at info.com with password Mitui 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 280953 create new account and now I should be able to sign in Mitui Mitui and I have my new Git server, Gogs, where I can create a new repository for a new code, which I'll call Mitui. This is my new repository. And then, yeah, this is still wrong. It should work, but not, not just like this. So if I open Git bash, and I'll <coughs> create here a directory called Gogs Mitui and I clone this repository here I'll have to change the IP the URL it's.sweetmitui.com and it did clone it and if I create a text file, vm uh, readme.md, and I insert a title with inserts, and I write down hello you, escape the WQ, and then git adds, git commits. First update, git push origin master to push my code on my git server. It asks me my credential, which is me tweet, me tweet. Okay. And then here I push F5. It will refresh the page and I'll see my readme, which is a markdown on my git. Et voila. Title, hello you. Pretty cool, huh? Now there is still modification that can be done. So at the moment, the server is running by hand. So if I stop it, it doesn't work anymore. And if I run it, it works again. So there is this and there is the fact that this doesn't show nicely so at the moment everything is running into the gog folder so i can remove my git repository recursively and it should not change the thing on my front end here yes into this gogs repository into custom into conf
Now this file is full of information because I did the installation. Can change here my URL again. So I'll put this URL. So I put insert. I can remove content, click right, escape, WQ, save and exit. Maybe I have to restart the service. So I'll close it and restart it. Yes. Now this link is correct. Now there is other thing that you can do into this config file. For example, you can disable registration so I can make you not be able to register it on the server, but I won't do that because if you want to try it, you can try it. And you can also enable captcha, which is done by default or all the things. I think that's all that's necessary to do. Oh yeah, I can also enable SSL. I don't use SSL. I find to use HTTPS with Git bash uh, on Windows pretty practical myself. So now there's still the issue of the service running. If I close my session, this service won't be running anymore. The easiest way you can do this is by installing tmux apt not to get anymore apt install tmux yes tmux gives you the possibility to create to open new processes within your server which are detached to your ssh session so just if you just put down tmux, you can see now I have this green bar under it. And if I run now my service in there and I close my SSH connection, it will still run the service, which is one option. The problem with that is that if you restart your VPS, then you need to restart this tmux. If you close the SSH connection, it still works but it will stop if you restart your VPS. Okay, so then you need to create a file in your systemd for your service. In it, you can pass what I have in my file, in my description <coughs> to be able to run the service. If you have also choose the user root and group sudo, you can do this. Otherwise, if you chose another user to do your installation, then you need to put another user. Then you save and exit. I will enable my my service. And I will start my service. Now if I go on this page and it works. And if I now quit, I can check how the service is doing with status seems fine and if I now quit everything all my SSH sessions that still are open my GOG service is still up and running all right that's it for the installation of GOX to have your private and own git server to put your own files I hope you could follow me through the installation. If you have more questions, hesitate to put down below in the commentary section. Um, you can use this server if you want to test it, feel free. But I don't guarantee that it will be up and running forever. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time.